the fourth myth lecture of the 2009 semester on uh, Talcott Parsons and the doctor-patient relationship. Born in 1902, Talcott Parsons was one of the foremost American sociologists of his time, working in Harvard University between 1929 and 1973. Uh, among many of his papers, he criticised communism and fascism, as you can imagine, during the 1940s. But one of his most famous examples was the doctor-patient relationship, as, as a result of the, of the recent increase in the research in biomedicine. One of, his main, one of the main topics of his paper was the, was the role of the patient and the doctor in, within society. Both doctor and patient had rights and obligations within society. The patient had the right to ask for medical opinion and medical advice, but also had the obligation to be ill, as opposed to as opposed to be working within society. And the doctor had the right to prescribe any medicine, and to and the obligation to effectively push the ill person back into society, thus creating a cycle of healthcare. With regards to consultations within the, for example, general practice. <laughs> Um, Tolkien Parsons proposed three methods of consultation. Firstly, the paternalistic model, which was heavily criticised in the era. Considering at the time, Lord Bevan, after the Second World War, Lord Bevan within, in, the great, in Great Britain was uh, creating the first draft for the National Health Service, and therefore was a very, very left idea. And as a result, Tolkien Parsons' idea of paternalism was heavily criticised in America and Great Britain. Paternalism, in short, was the doctor having the main priority and the main power within the consultation. The doctor would, would prescribe any medicine, requires any medicine, and the patient would have the right and the obligation to, to accept any medication that the doctor would give. A mutualistic approach to consultation, which Tolga Parsons also proposed, was one where the patient choice mattered slightly more. The patient would have a choice, would bring expertise in the form of experience to the consultation room, and as a result, the, the, the treatment proposed and offered would be an, an amalgamation of both the doctor and the patient's wills and desires. And finally, Tolga Parsons proposed the last one, a consumerist or patient-centered model, which was effectively the doctor had very little power within the system. The patient would provide would provide all the evidence and the patient would be effectively using the doctor as part of the consumer. It's not a video is it? As a result of this, Tolkott Parsons was heavily criticised. Particularly with the After the Second World War, resources were very low in America and as a result patient choice was very limited with the result with regards to consultations within the GP. From a modern perspective, from a modern perspective we, can, we can really regard Tolkott Parsons as very obsolete. A paternalistic, a true, raw paternalistic form of consultation is, is very unheard of in today's society. Anyone else No, we're not. Simply because patient choice matters so much more to society. We are more exposed to doctors, we're more exposed to healthcare, and as a result, we can choose our different treatment options. Also, recently, a lot of treatment options are available, such as different antibiotics. Different diseases have come about, and as a result, a patient choice with regards to different treatment options is very important to the consultation. Tolkott Parsons was renowned in his time, but after his death in 1979, we can conclude that his model of healthcare is no longer is no longer viable for particularly the national health system in in Britain, for example, and also in America, which has become more consumerist in the way it approaches healthcare. Thank you very much. Any questions? <laughs> Not really. No. Just I wonder why he's filming you, but that's all. Why?